Marketplace e-commerce shipping options for checkout. This is a very important aspect of a marketplace e-commerce platform because if the shipping doesn't work, really nothing works. And the logistical overhead associated with this can be traumatic for a marketplace as it scales up if it isn't done right. So we want to make sure we nail this one. Now, one of the key aspects that we want to point out with the cart itself and with the checkout is that we have a very simplified mini cart on the right. The user can't edit anything at this point without clicking on the edit cart button. And they're really directed down this pathway that hopefully just keeps them very focused on this isolated progression through the checkout process. Now, one of the most important things with a checkout in general is making it really easy and not asking the user to do something that is unnecessary. For example, we want their address information to come from their address book and we want to intelligently recommend the most recently used or most often used address or the one that they've specified as their default. We also wanna make it really easy for them to find their other addresses that they've selected for shipping. Now, the other thing that we wanna do typically is allow the user to get address verification in case they accidentally have a typo and the order would go unintentionally to the wrong address. Now this can be pretty challenging depending on the region or area of the world that you're shipping to. So this is a consideration depending on how your marketplace e-commerce platform needs to work and specifically what carriers you're going to use and what type of carriers you're gonna use. Are you gonna be using typical shipment carriers like FedEx, UPS, DHL, USPS, and et cetera? Or are you going to be using other carriers that might be LTL or intermodal type of shippers? or even a custom API to a multi, uh, basically a uh, 3PL or a multi quoting system for different shipping offers. Depending on this and whether maybe it's even a combination of all of these, uh, we encourage you to dig in and think about this and look at this for the different product types. One of the other things that typically will happen with the shipping side of things is you may have a, a logistical distribution system where items are gonna be put into a single box or a single shipment container, uh, but they may be from multiple different sellers. If that's the case, do we need to show a visual so the user can see how full that container is and that they can, for a relatively lower cost on the shipping side of things, they can keep the shipping costs the same and add more items to that single container. Uh, maybe they've just barely overfilled it and they need to reduce slightly, you get the idea. Now, the other thing is, from a user perspective, we want them to be able to see as best possible what the lead time is going to be and also get real time estimates on their shipping uh, cost. So depending on the product type, depending on their address and the seller uh, shipment location, we're going to want to be able to present the lead time and the cost and provide some level of credibility here and maybe even some buffer. And again, as always, we want to clearly manage the buyer and the seller's expectations throughout the process. So it could not be more important at this point that this information be as credible as possible. And then we have some reasonable buffer for reality where some shipments may take longer, they may get delayed, that kind of a thing. So how are you considering that with your checkout and in particular the shipping in your checkout? I hope this video was really helpful to stimulate different thoughts for you with your marketplace e-commerce work. Uh, we certainly encourage you to stick around for complimentary resources that we're going to talk about next to help you on your marketplace e-commerce journey. Thanks for watching this video on marketplace e-commerce. In this particular edition, we went into quite a bit of detail. However, we want you to know that we have complimentary resources that you can download for free that give you a summary and a cheat sheet on key aspects of marketplace e-commerce. In particular, we go into quite a bit of detail around a checklist it can be really helpful when upfront planning for a marketplace e-commerce project. We also have go live steps and optimization steps around various different aspects of running the marketplace, making it self-service, setting up the governance rules, optimizing for organic SEO, performance, security tuning, and really the list goes on. We certainly encourage you to take a look at those links in the description. And as always, if you would like to, we encourage you to go to town on that like button. Certainly feel free to subscribe so you can get notifications about additional videos like this. And we'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching and bye for now.